Hello, I'm Ren Taylor, product manager for Daylight, a brand of Legrand AV. Today, I want to take you on a tour of our newest tool, the Screen Surface Selection Calculator. Daylight Screen Surface Selection Calculator can be found at this address, legrandscreencalculator.com, and this is the landing page for the calculator. The first step that uh, you need to figure out when you use this tool is the room dimensions as well as the screen size that you're looking for. So there's an easy A, B, C setup here, and you can see it here on the graphic. Uh, so for example, let's do a 120 inch diagonal. That's the size of the screen over here. We'll do a ceiling height of the room of 12 feet, so 144 inches. And then we'll make the screen C from the bottom of the screen to the floor, 48 inches or four feet. And you can see here to the left, it's showing you all the different aspect ratios for a 120 inch diagonal screen in this room setup. Let's choose a 16 by nine screen as a good example. And when that happens, we can go to step two and we'll click here, continue to projector details. On step two, we need to figure out the projector we're using. If you know the projector, uh, that's easy, and you can put the lumen output here, like for example, a 3000 lumen projector. If you don't know that, there's a handy link right here to go to projectorcentral.com to find more information on projectors that are available in the market. We sometimes want to know how far the projector is away from the screen in order to mount it. And here you can type that in with the lens you're using, like a 1.0 to a 2.0 lens, for example. And when we do that down here, that's showing us on this 120 inch diagonal, the projector is going to be 104 inches to 209 inches away from the screen with this particular lens. So now that we have this information input, we're going to use a 3000 lumen projector. Let's make it a laser based projector because that's the most common type that's in the market today. We'll go to the final step, continue to screen gain. On the final step, you have all the listings of the daylight surfaces that are available for daylight products. The default here is HD Progressive 0.6. So 120 inch diagonal with a 3000 lumen laser projector, what is that gonna tell us about our projection system? Well, if we look down here, that's telling us it's about 42 foot Lambert. So that's a most light situation. It's not a dark room. It's not a room with all lights or windows. It's right in the middle. But if we have a room that needs all lights plus windows, what do we do? Well, the easiest thing to do here is we can change the screen surface. So if you look at the chart down here and watch this triangle move, if we look at HD progressive 0.9 there, that's good for an all light scenario. HD progressive 0.1, still good for an all light scenario, but it doesn't quite get us to a fully bright room with lights and windows. Well, there's one more thing we can do in this tool, which is we could look at an ambient light rejection surface. So if you know the daylight product, something like Parallax Pure 0.8 is a great example. And if we click that as our choice, you can see the scale now changes. And yes, this is a system, a 3000 lumen laser projector on a 120 inch diagonal with Parallax Pure 0.8. It works great in an all lights plus window situation. And for anyone that ever needs to use this tool for metric measurements, there's a handy toggle up here at the top. And once we click that, everything in the tool here, including all of our measurements, converts to metric. So it's a global tool for anyone that needs it.